Hello guys, welcome, you're watching Headset VR and today I'm going to show you how you get Subnautica to play in VR using the controllers. Now, there's a couple of things, so this is only going to be a short video. Now, what you basically do is, first of all, let me just show you, you need to join the Discord and that's for the flat screen to VR modding from there you can join and you'll see the Subnautica VR channel now from here you can see in the development tab there there's a gentleman call, or called I hate TN931 and he has put the Subnautica motion controls test build 4 dot zip here now you can also go into the announcements to download as you can see the VR enhancements and also the snap turning now we're going to ignore the snap turning for now because there aren't any other comfort options we're just going to play with the VR enhancements and that will take you straight to the Nexus mods link which is here and from there it pretty much says straightforward instructions what you do as it says if you go into the game file which we have here and from there now I already have this installed be warned so I'm, it may not show these files on my screen so you remove the Q mod manager and bepinex folders from your subnautica game folder if you've had mods already installed then you click this link here and you download Bepinex and as it says extract the contents of your zip file into the Subnautica game folder which is right here then you run Subnautica once and what that will do is it will create this plugins file that you can see here right. then you download the latest version of the VR enhancements from Nexus Mods, or you can get it from GitHub, the links are there. Extract the plugins folder from the zip file into the Bepinex file, which is as you can see here, you go into plugins and you put the VR enhancements mod there. That is also the same place as you can see, you put the Subnautica motion controls. Now, a little bit of a pre warning. Now, two things firstly is from what the gentleman's been saying in Discord, he's been having a lot better results with the Quest 2 because he uses the Quest 2. And that is, ironically, what I'm using is a Quest 2. But that doesn't mean it won't work for others, but just for now, it's working a lot better on the Quest 2. So from there, like I say, if you go to the Discord and download from here, the Subnautica Motion Controls, Test Build, it is like as I work in progress and you drop that into now ignore the fact that I've got two subnautica files there it was just the way the game set itself up and you put it into plugins that's been created by the start of the game and from there let me just minimize all this down you then open Steam VR now I'm running the game through the epic game store as you can see here and then from there Yes, you do open Steam VR and you launch Subnautica. And the game starts in VR. And then, as you can see, I mean, and I use the right grip to rise, the left grip to, grip to descend. Left stick to move straight left and right. The right stick to turn left and right. And the right stick takes a screenshot. Oh, pinch there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the right stick like I said, takes a screenshot of the VDI. And I believe you press the Oculus button on the right stick. I believe you press the button on the left stick to bring up the PDA and as you can see you can then 
then use the laser pointer to clip on any of the options using the using the eye button. Now the only thing is, oh, let me just get my breath, um, the only thing is that I know of, what I can think, is oh, that I can't use the controllers to go through here, I don't believe, let me 100% check that by pressing the escape key, which puts you into the pause mode, options and let's have a look at keyboard we don't want keyboard we want controller we want, and then we want the the menu slots and now as you can see there's nothing bound for the menu slots however if we go to the keyboard they are bound for the menu slots so you will have to use one two three four five but you don't have to but i'll, I'll use it because they're, they're dead straightforward anyway but that's pretty much basically it. But as you just saw there, pressing the escape key, you can unstuck, recent to VR, back to gain, and that's it. So that's how you set it all up. It's, it's dead easy. And um, I'm going to be doing a live stream shortly. So this video will come out after the live stream, and then I'll do the same thing for Subnautica below zero. Let's see if we can get everyone set up on that as well. And well, well, that was unfortunate. It seems I've died and I've now turned into someone who is vertically challenged. Okay, so I just want to say thank you for watching. You've been watching Headset VR. This is a setup video on how to get Subnautica with motion controls in VR. Now this is on PC, so it isn't actually available, unfortunately, on PlayStation VR, but I'm using a Quest 2 headset, which it does run best with. I'm using a link cable to my PC, and I'm using an RX 6600 XT GPU and a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU with 32 gigabytes of RAM. So other than that, I hope this video has been helpful. If it hasn't been helpful, then perhaps post a comment in the description, maybe ask me some questions, and we'll see if we can get people started on this. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Happy swimming.